Hey everyone, about four years later and a good bit more grays, it's time to update one of our videos based on a request from one of you. So about four years ago, I made a video on how to easily upload an image to SharePoint. Things have changed. We now have a Power Apps V2 trigger. Power Apps has made it easier for us. Power Automate's made it easier for us. So let's get into it based on a question from one of you and let's upload an image to SharePoint or OneDrive. Let's get into it. So we're in Power Apps. Let's just make this super simple. We're just gonna create a new, oh, look at all these new options. We're just gonna create a new blank canvas app. Power Apps has grown so much and we're gonna do responsive. I want right out of the box responsive. I love how it gives you a responsive template right out of the box. Power Apps has grown so much. What I'm gonna to do to keep this nice and simple is I'm just gonna do an image or an add picture control. So add picture control. We're gonna put that right in there. I wanna make sure it's actually in my container. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna put it in my main container. All right, it's in my main container. I'm just gonna stretch it out all the way. Make sure it takes up all that space in there. There we go. And then. Maybe at the bottom, sometimes I think the button, so if you if this goes to phone, it's kind of easier to press the button on the bottom. So I'm gonna put the picture right, or I'm gonna put the button to upload right over here in the bottom right. So let's put it in the bottom right, maybe we'll center it, and then I'm gonna pull it off that edge there. Maybe to do that, I'll do a padding padding right above my head. Let's see if I can move, uh, I'll move out of the way, this way. So padding, maybe we'll do 100, right, pull it off that edge. All right, so we have an, a tap to add picture control and we have a button and I'm in the way, let me move me. All right, so I'm on the other side now. So we have our button down here, we have tap to add picture. I'm gonna add a picture in here. All right, so I added an image, it's a nice image. We can change the picture if we want, but I just added the image. But what's important is when you go to this add media with image control, look, there's two parts to this, right? You have the add media button, which is down here, and then you have the uploaded image. And in the uploaded image, you can see there is an image property. And this is where it's actually adding the image. So you can see add button one dot media sample image. It starts with a sample image, right? If it's blank, it starts with a sample image else it does the one that you uploaded. Okay, so now that I have my image in there, I have a button, now we're gonna create a Power Automate flow. So I'm gonna come over here to the three dots, click Power Automate, I'm gonna create a flow. I like to make this very simple. There's a couple different ways to do it. Let's just start from blank. Since the last Power Apps video, things have changed. We do now have Power Apps V2. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an input here. I think I'll just do a file. Let's just do a file. We could do a file content. I'm gonna remove the space. That's just me being biased. I'm gonna remove the space in there. And should we do a text field? Maybe we'll do a text field too. We'll call this name. So we have file content and name. Now I'm gonna go just straight to SharePoint. So SharePoint. I'm gonna to go to my document library. So I'm going to create a file, not an item, right? An item is a list. We're gonna create a file, create a file, and we're gonna just put in our SharePoint site, which is 2025 collection. The folder path is going to be my image library. And now the file name is gonna be name, and the file content is gonna be file content. That's it. That's all we're doing on the Power App side. What's important now is at the very top up there is to give your flow a name that's easy to remember. So actually right here, just give an easy name. Uh, simple upload to 2025 site collection. All right, so just give your flow a very simple name, click save. We're gonna go straight to this library here, my image library. 
So what we're going to do now is in our upload button, I'm just going to take my flow name. So just start typing in your flow name. That's why I said it was important. Now Power Apps and Power Automate has made this super simple for us. And the reason is, is because of that V2 trigger. Now in Power Automate, we said that we were going to grab a file content. So all we have to do is give it our image a name. So we can just, we can have the user write in a name if we want, or we can just give a name. So maybe something like, let's see, image underscore, and let's try text, text, then now. So we're going to grab the date now, and then let's put it in a format that we like, Y, 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 month, month, day, day, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. That should be fine within seconds. Okay, and then we're gonna end that. We're going to have um, our file type. So we'll just say this is .png. All right, so we have the first part and that's just our name and we need our ampersand here. So there it is, we have image, text, we're kind of giving it a date and then we're saying .png. Now what we wanna do, and let's check out this comma. Now it's asking for file. So let's look at this. I'm just going to indent it some file, the parentheses. I'm going to change this to a record. So in file, it's looking for a couple things. It's looking for name. It's looking for name and we're just going to use the same name. We'll just use the same name and then it's looking for content bytes. And in content bytes, we're just going to say uploaded image one dot image. And pretty much that is it. That's how simple Power Apps has made it for us now. So all we're doing is we're running our flow. We're saying the image name. Now we'll change this. Maybe we'll we'll write something. And then we're saying, hey, use the file. It's a record, a record of a name and content bytes. So the name is the file name. And the content bytes is the actual base64 format. And since Power Automate does all that work for us with the V2 trigger, we can just upload it straight in there directly. So now when we run our flow, so if we check it out and we press upload to SharePoint, it runs, you see the little marching ants, that's what a lot of people call it, the little marching ants. We go to our site collection, we press refresh, we can see we have a, a image in here. Let's change the, let's change it to tiles. So we can see that the image did clearly come through. We have our image in here, all that's beautiful, looks beautiful, it works, everything's nice. There's more things we can do to this if we wanted to. So we could come in here and we could have, let's say a text input field and let's move it over to the left. Let's give this a gap of 100, okay. And then maybe we'll have a label also. So we'll have a label and then we'll say image name. All right, we have image name, image text, so text input. Now we can kind of maybe, let's see how it looks in here. It kind of, you really can't tell that you can type there. Maybe we'll darken that. So let's just darken it a little bit. There we go. And kind of make it a little bit wider. Maybe we'll make it 500. There we go. So now we'll just say image name, use select in Power Automate. All right, so we have our, our name now. So now in our equation, we can just, instead of saying image here, we can say, um, let's just let's just remove all the date and everything. Our text input one dot text. Okay, that looks good. So we'll do the same thing at the top. Text input one dot PNG, we'll take it again. Now we're gonna grab our name and upload it. We see our little marching ants, we go to, our library, refresh. We can see now we actually gave it a name. Beautiful. Power Apps has made this way more simpler for us. Power Apps and Power Automate. It's much more simple. Um, you may say something like, oh, well, what if it's a, a PNG file? Or what if it's a, um, a, a different type of image file? So let's go ahead and change it. I believe that it will work just fine because it's embedded in the it's embedded in the metadata. So let's change it to .jpg, .jpg. So even though this is a PNG file, I press upload, it should rename it to .jpg, right? So it's not going to overwrite. 
it's going to rename it to .jpg, but it still works. So this one was a few seconds ago. And this one is, says it's a .jpg. So you can see that Power Apps is just doing all this work for us. Power Automate's doing all this work for us, keeping it nice and simple. It's the same thing if you wanted to do OneDrive. So if we wanted to do OneDrive, we can do the exact same thing. So I'm going to say OneDrive for business, right? Not my personal OneDrive, but OneDrive for business. We're going to say create a file. It's pretty much the same property. So it's looking for the folder path. We can just put it in the root. The file name is going to be file or name here. File content is the file content. We'll click save. So this time, and notice, because the name is not going to change, it will overwrite it in SharePoint, right? So this one right here, let's refresh. It says about a minute ago. It will overwrite it because the name is not changing. So just think about that. All right, so let's run our Power App one more time, upload to SharePoint. This time, this time we got an error. And this is a very common error. And that's when I make a change to a flow. And then you have to come in here and you have to refresh. I'm going to leave that in the video because that's a common mistake that happens that, that I do a lot. So just make sure to give it a refresh. Press play. Try again. This time it should work. It, it's just you, know, you made a change in Power Automate. Power Apps was not aware of that change. Just make sure to give it a refresh. So you can see it says about a minute ago. So if we refresh, Notice that it uploaded on top of it, right? Because the name didn't change. If we go to OneDrive, and so we can see right in here in OneDrive, same thing, about a minute ago, modified, uploaded, sent right to my OneDrive and saved. Power Apps has made this super easy for us. Now that you have how easy it is, the world is yours if you wanna put it in a gallery, if you wanna send multiple at a time, up to you. But that's the most simple way now in 2025 to upload an image to SharePoint or OneDrive. So thank you all for watching. It's been many years. Thank you to all my subscribers. It's kind of amazing how far I've come. Thank you. My name is Andrew Hess, and I'll see you next week.